Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, she says. Hi. Here in the Hi. castle again. <laughs> uh, I know we talked about going off on a great adventure or maybe going to the nether, <laughs> but uh, we... Here we go, 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 on an adventure. Wow. <laughs> I watched too many kid shows. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but we had a problem with supplies. We didn't have any. So we went ahead and went on a epic caving adventure. <laughs> I found a couple of ravines that came into each other while working on the slime farm. Uh, yeah. So we went ahead and checked that out. And as usual, we record everything. So mm -hmm. we're going to show you some footage from that. Um, and then we'll be back with you here as we work on the castle some more. Rooney, uh, looks like there might be a passage up here. Ooh! Yay! I like caving. It's so fun. Oh, uh, it's, oh. it's a short one, but it's got a lot of stuff showing, so that's good. <laughs> oh, I, I hear, hear zombie. zombie, though. Here, multiple zombies. There's iron under your feet there. If you want to grab that. Okay. Are you going this way? Oh no, you put a torch there. It's just not lighting it up for me. I hate it when the stupid lighting glitches happen. Alright, I'm digging. Digging for the zombies? Oh, I'm pretty sure we just found something, babe. Oh, really? They got cobble what, here. What, what? Ooh. That's always impressive. Yep. Alrighty. What do we do? Oh. Down there and get hit. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna break it in. Alright, you got torches handy? Oh my gosh, there's a lot. Kill, 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 kill. There's another one. Die, zombie, die. There's two more. Holy butters. Alright, let me look in these chests. <gasps> nope. <gasps> nope. Uh, uh, nope, what? We're not getting any huh. damn melon seeds. Got I cocoa saw... beans. There's. Have we been this way over here? Because there's more cobble over here. It's just one. But we we couldn't be that lucky, could we? <laughs> it looks like we were right next to it. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I know. I was looking over here, and it didn't look like we'd been this way. But because I put that torch there, is there a cat in there by you? <laughs> No. I just heard cat meow, and it must have been on your headphones while I get to go. All right. Just block that lava off. Okay. Uh, two skeletons just burnt up in the bottom of it, so maybe it'll go somewhere. But there's also another, like, dark spot up above it, so. Oh! Who's shooting at me? Where are you at? So we started going this way, it looks like, at some point, but it didn't finish because both sides are dark, so. Okay. There's a skeleton around here somewhere, or did you just shoot? Yeah, I, I just took him out. Okay. And this side did like ends. A ninja. A ninja? I hear more, man. More of those skeletons, I hear them. Right there? I don't know. Oh, yeah, uh, sounds I don't close. hear no skeletons. Hmm. It could just be insane. That's what? a possibility as well. That's, that's kind of regardless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got another dark one going down, which is where we want to go is down versus up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Giggly. 
All right, well, we're going to come back and pick this up after we unload some of our resources here. <coughs> Bless you. So Thank you. Let's load up with... Fill our inventories up with stuff. Yeah. I guess. And... All right, we're back into our village to uh, drop off all of our goods from our halfway point in our huge caving system. <laughs> and uh, Rain's got 30 levels, so she's going to go ahead and enchant another pick. Another diamond pick. Let's see. Come on, silk touch. Ooh, that's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to do it. All right, let's see. Let's see. Big money, big money. No whammy news. Uh, efficiency four and breaking three. Not Dang. Bad. You're getting all the good stuff. Those two I picks mean, right there are going to last you a long time. Yeah, because I'll, I mean, how many, I got like a full chest of coal, and it barely took any durability off my diamond pick, because it's got the unbreaking three on it, the fortune pick. So. No, I just got an efficiency four. How lame is that? I'm sorry. <laughs> the game hates you. And you're going to keep on getting the levels, because uh, I'm. you're the I've one that has the pick. fortune. Yep. I mean, theoretically, I could let you borrow the fortune pick, I suppose. Yeah. That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> This isn't where we were, but it's okay. okay um, I'm waiting. Waiting where? For you. Where at? At the entrance. Oh. Well, just because there's a big stone pillar with torches on top doesn't mean I can find it. I don't know how I beat there. you, considering I was way behind you. <laughs> well, because I'm me. That's why. That's how. <laughs> also, but it could have been because I enderpearled over. <clears throat> Whoa, you jump heavy. <laughs> jump heavy? Oh, just the sound of you splashing in the water just sounds like... Gosh, bloosh! Uh -oh. <laughs> I see coal. Lots and lots of coal. Coal, mushrooms, and another caving system. Alrighty, and somebody who's trying to kill me. Who that? Oh, you got it? Okay, good. Oh yeah, gotta get my XP somehow. Oh jeez! What happened? I just fell into that ravine. Oh no! And there's gonna be able to get back out? after me. You gonna be okay? I need to come down and help you. <laughs> I just built straight up. Because I didn't know what else to do. I had a whole bunch of creepers that were going to come blow up on me, and I had no heart. So I was like, uh, well. <laughs> like, they can't reach me if I go up here. Oh. Good so lord. Are you stuck on a tower? Are you a princess in her tower at the nah, moment? I'll figure it out. <gasps> Enderman. Yep. Did he piss that Enderman off? Yep. And then I killed him. Did you do it on purpose? Yep. There's a skeleton somewhere. Dude, these things just go on forever. Hmm? Is it a hole or is it just where gravel fell through? Oh, we found the ravines right here. Oh, crap. Am I in one? No. <laughs> You're in the start of one. Did I come up or are you coming down? No, yeah, I'm coming down. Okay. Look. Where are you at? Where you is? Right there. Okay. It's right here. Hello. Ta-da! We found um. Holy mackerel. Okay, so which way are we doing? Left, right, up, right, down? Uh, dealing with this lava over here. Okay. Deal with that lava, would you? I'll deal with the coal. Will do. Or I just fall in it. That always works, too. Did you fall in the lava? Well, yes and no. Just don't take any branching tunnels and I should be able to find you. Okay, right? I'm going to have you get the lapis with your... Uh... Oh, yeah. There's more right here, also. Lapis? More lapis, yes. 
Yeah, that's promising. The coal vein ran into lapis. Start vein. finding lapis. We're gonna. We should find some diamonds. I still hear him. There's a creeper over here just chilling. Another one did that just dive bomb me or tried to. Those sound like they're right here, man. There's gotta be something up above us because I just had a. There's creepers everywhere. So welcome by, back with us, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the look at uh, our lengthy caving uh, <laughs> expedition. We were actually down there for multiple nights, and obviously a lot was cut out if we were down there that long. But we have a entirely full double chest of coal. Um, I think we have 48 iron blocks. Um, I mean, it was... We got a lot of stuff. <laughs> we got everything, but what? No diamonds! No diamonds. Not a single Not a diamond. single one. It's so annoying. And it, it, I can understand when we were at the higher levels, because I think part of this area was up in around the, you know, 20s and 30s. But did you fall down again? Well, I ran into the stable, and I was trying to figure out if I could do this, but it's not working. The staircase can't go this way. Well, get rid of that one then. Like it go to the one side then. Get rid of that stable. Oh. It's just the one over there well, anyway, fine. right? True. So. Okay. Uh, anyway. That works. As you were. Yeah. So we were at. I mean, down at. I think the lowest we got was level. I want to say nine, and none. Not a, not a single diamond. So yeah. we're gonna have to probably get back to some kind of. Uh, uh, mining at some point, but we have a pretty good stack. Well, I, I feel like say, we don't have diamonds. Yeah, I want to say we're in the forties. So as yeah, we get the like levels, that. we can do that. Speaking of which, oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, so I am such a better enchanter than you. Yeah. <laughs> so here's my first one, right? Efficiency four. The next pick I get thirty levels on it, and I get looting or what is it called? You got fortune two. Fortune two, not not fortune three, and not not efficiency two, efficiency two, or efficiency two, fortune two, no, not unbreaking, nothing, just fortune <laughs> two. And so Rain <laughs> does her second pick, and Rain, what did you get? Oh, well, let's see, what do I have on here again? Oh yeah, efficiency four and breaking three. <laughs> Sorry. Isn't that messed up, people? Not really. That is just messed up. <laughs> And to make it the even worse... The table just likes me better than you. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Because she had the um, the, the good pick for getting the coal. Mm -hmm. She was getting all the XP for mining the coal. And, and, and yeah. So she got another level 30. And, and she decided to make a bow. And what's on that bow? Uh -huh. Well, I didn't get what I... I wanted in an infinity bow. But I got power 3 punch 1. That's not bad. Not bad, she says. Ugh. It's not bad. I got screwed, folks. I got screwed. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep an eye on this. You know, maybe it's a a girl thing. The the, the game knows it's a girl, so they want to help her out. Tell. Or <laughs> maybe it's the second player thing. Maybe it's because I'm the host of the server. Either way, <laughs> I'm awesome. it's not That's fair. Awesome. Just not fair. Not fair. <laughs> not fair. All right. <laughs> You're gonna rage quit. Yeah. <laughs> over my levels. Okay. We're gonna get Can back I make to it. This staircase. We're gonna get back to it, and uh, we'll cover anything as usual that's uh, interesting or humorous, and we'll be back with you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I think this is about gonna wrap it up for today, but we've made a lot of progress. Sorry that most of it didn't make yeah. it on camera. Um, it's actually been a couple of days <laughs> since we started this whole whole deal so um the recording time has been a little different once since the uh the child is out of school for christmas break <laughs> yeah yeah it's a holiday it's so recording time. Th this also may run a little bit shorter than usual but uh we'll, we'll see once the editing is done uh hopefully we could still bring something entertaining for you guys so as you can see from afar there i've done quite a bit of work on the roof area it will take a closer look at it here in just a second. Um, let me go ahead and turn my 
my stuff back on. While I'm doing that, I also wanted to talk to you about um, going out and opening up the map. The wife and yeah, I. Yeah, I'm so excited. The wife and I have talked about it a lot, and we both really want to do it, but there's re one really big problem that uh, may come from the, this. Come on down, hun. Uh, I'm coming. There's a good chance that we're going to find, or at least open, the area that the um, stronghold would be in. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this before. I know it's it's been talked about a lot, at least between Rain and I. Um, we don't want to do anything in this world that isn't legit and you know right. done in survival. But if we open up the stronghold, we can't go to the end because there are no end portals at the moment. So something to keep in I mind. Load end portal later. If if we do do that. Um, we can still possibly put it in uh, through creative. I don't know if they're going to add the portal blocks or not, but if they do, we can do it through creative. So I want to put it out there for you that are watching. Is it okay if, if uh, we do that in creative? Uh, and would you prefer us to have that ability, or would you prefer us to keep, it, keep um, doing it this way and not necessarily getting the chance to do that uh for you guys on this map so all right well as you can see we've been reworking this a bit rain pretty much did all the work on this um she ran into the uh <laughs> the stable. stables and whatnot so we come up with the idea of wrapping it from both ends um wrapping it around this would be like where a guard stands and then it wraps back up into the center and voila here's mm -hmm. the throne room um made a really big chandelier looking thing in the center with gold blocks and added some paintings up to give it some just color <laughs> tapestries they're tapestries. tapestries it's a castle yes yes <laughs> got the red carpet leading up to the the king or the duke or whatnot and uh this, or the queen. This whole concept was being able to approach him without being able to walk up to him directly. Um, it works out well because there are no half wool blocks. So. Half wool blocks. <laughs> that would be difficult, wouldn't it? Yeah. The idea was to have an eating area over here and then like a fire pit or whatnot over here. We don't have netherrack yet, so we can't really make a fire pit. And right. We can't place upside down half slabs or stairs, and the way I want to make a table would require both of those items. So that <laughs> may come as the updates come. Right. Uh, we also have more things to add to the outside areas. This one's going to be basically as it is, but we've, we've got a lot more mm -hmm. thought process going on and work in store. It's just a matter of getting to it. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and head down like to the... coming along nicely, though. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, this this was all the dirt mountain that you built in here before, so I think this looks starting to look castle-y on the inside. <laughs> I definitely agree. Uh, this, this is the formal stairwell from the kitchen area. This would be where the serfs come up to uh, feed the, the guests and whatnot. This is what we did with the kitchen area. Nothing uh, spectacular, but... Uh, I think it would get the point across to get the ovens and some workstations and then there's always seems to be a table and chairs uh, and at least castles and, and movies and whatnot for the servants to eat at. Yeah. I feel like the kids are the servants to be sit here and keep an eye on them, you know? Yep. That kind of stuff. So it's a living, working, breathing place. So this stairwell would be going down to eventually where the storerooms would be, um, the dungeon and all that stuff, but we haven't gotten to that yet. Um, <laughs> and then this is the spiral stairwell that goes all the way to the top. It also gets linked into the barrack area. Um, so we'll be putting some beds and stuff in here, and I'm going to put a door on this. And then the stairwell goes up that's also into the throne room. 
And then you can continue on up, and it will also have a door here. And this goes out to the the roof level, I guess you will. Um, and then it continues up yet again and goes into the king's chambers. And we did a little bit of work in here, but the main things were the outside, so we'll show you that here in a second. Mm -hmm. But we had a subscriber uh, come up with a really good idea for this room down below. I had asked yeah. if anybody had any thoughts on it, and they, they had a great one. Go ahead and feel our audience. They said we should make the room underneath the king's chamber that we couldn't figure out what to do with it into a secret escape route. So, you know, use some some redstone magic and make it so you could get down here and have it go basically all the way down to the bottom and maybe add an escape tunnel or something into the guardhouse or or something like that. But anyway, a secret escape for the for the royalty and I, I just love that idea. <laughs> so just what's a castle without secret passages? Exactly. <laughs> so we can't necessarily go into here because below here is a throne room. But I think we do have redstone, and I think I can come up with some kind of, of contraption to allow some kind of false floor to come out into a stairwell or something. And then mm -hmm. we'll have to come up with an idea, maybe some kind of escape route down the side. I don't know. We'll have to yeah. figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out, yeah. Um, and then we went ahead and closed this old thing up, still having the ladder here to get up to the top. And I may p change the placement of the ladder, but for now it works just fine. And then, this is what we did to the outside. We capped off the um, tower where you, you know, the princess tower where you lock lock the princess away, mm -hmm. and we stopped to furnish that. And then we did some different uh, themes here. Furnish for it? The... What? Just put some bars on the windows. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> You're locking the princess away. Sure enough. <laughs> did some different themes with. Uh, the wood or different ideas with the wood to kind of make this pop and it, it looks pretty good from a distance and it looks really good up close it's not you know all stone anymore um nice big windows and a nice big area for for the king or or whatnot um and then the last thing we already had the stairwell up this tower that goes to the top mm -hmm. and then the ramparts across to the princess tower Right. But we went ahead and added another way down into the throne room, which was something that we had talked about previously, I'm pretty sure. So that's where this window was coming in, if you had seen it. This would kind of overlook that area, and this would be something that you would actually see in a keep for a archer or someone else to get an advantage point to just in case somebody in the crowd looked like they're going to be unruly or what have you but this comes down right onto the other side of the throne so yeah i think it's shaping up really nicely what do you think babe did i lose her i could hear you the whole time apparently you just couldn't hear me because my controller was dead so <laughs> I heard everything you said and I I really like the way this is shaping up um you know when we first started it was kind of just a big lump of gray yeah <laughs> and I like that it's uh coming along and looking like a a working castle uh, I think you know I, I think originally we had said we were going to make it ruins but now we're just making it <laughs> a current one you know <laughs> well it like wasn't it's currently working. But. Yeah, it wasn't ruins per se, but just yeah, historical. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, so we're gonna make everything I look good like and, and function right and all that. And mm -hmm. uh, we have two concepts coming up here for where to put another portal. Um, one was in this castle, like maybe down in the depths. But the other one is mm -hmm. I had mentioned previously, and I still really would like the idea of doing it is putting. Terracing, terracing that that hill significantly oh, and putting all those some creepers. Dang. putting some uh, Stonehenge looking things on top there, and then underneath of that mm -hmm. putting catacombs. And I think that what better place to put a, a nether portal than in catacombs? So oh yeah, absolutely. Give your your give us your feedback and thoughts on that, and uh, anything else 
in the castle that you think could be changed or improved? Any ideas, suggestions you have, we will take? Yeah, don't for like suggestions. Don't forget that like <laughs> and subscribe. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. See you next time, everybody. She missed. <laughs>